Now everybody, welcome back to Planet Earth. And the motto of today's video is going to be remoteness, everybody. Yes, you know, this is one of those videos again where we talk about very interesting airports. And in today's video, let's talk about very remote of an airport and its history. And everybody, we're gonna find today's airport on an island here in the Pacific, a very wide ocean, as you can see. Somewhere, uh, somewhere here, not much going on here, but we can see something very small down here. It's called Midway Atoll. And well, this interesting atoll island right here is named Midway because it is literally midway between the US and Asia land. Now, really, this whole Midway Atoll consists of two little islands, one of which is a modern air base, you know, for the United States military. This was often used these days as a, you know, emergency landing strip, for example, for passenger planes flying trans-Pacific flights and not really being able to make it. And therefore, this 2.5 kilometer long runway is used these days. But already something we can find on this other island here, the Eastern Island, is something that interests me a whole lot more. Everybody, yes, what we have down here is a World War II airport. And well, guess what? We have it here added in very, very realistically into the flight simulator. Yes, the Naval Air Station Midway. Now, this really represents how this whole thing looked in 1942. And already, isn't this a great way to look back a little bit in time and see how World War II airports looked like? We even have, you know, the old planes. We've got a United States the state's flag right here. No, actually, this is the interesting part about this little island. After it was discovered, and while planes were started to be built in like the 1930s and 40s, you know, that was before the World War II, Pan Am Airline flew their Martin M-130 planes here, made a fuel stop when they actually did the kind of first trans-Pacific flights back then, right? So this was actually never built for military usage, but it was later on used for World War II. For example, this island was destroyed here in the Pearl Harbor attack. But that's the whole, I don't want to talk about too much about history, but this is why this airport was abandoned. You know, it was, again, was destroyed completely. And they built this bigger one, 2.5 kilometer runway way here an airport that is still you know in use basically now what we can really see here that's something that really much stands out about these world war ii kind of airports is the surface we have down here no this is not any asphalt or you know concrete or anything something you can see in the normal kind of airport no this is something called a marston mat which is uh, steel planking which it's literally steel matting material Look, you have a bit of a very, very close view. But I mean, I can imagine that this is quite a bit easier to set up than, you know, putting asphalt here. Very old style vintage airport, indeed nicely done. Of course, the other island, which, you know, these days has an airport on it, is also nicely represented how it used to be in the 1940s without any airport on it but with a bit of seaplanes. And well, what do we see here? Oh, it's a CM-130 here by Pan Am. Right, no, right now. Maybe it's time now though for inception times. Maybe not fly this 1930s Junker Ju-52 here, but a modern air, I wanna fly like an A321 here. Like honestly now, we have after all only 5,000 foot of runway. And it's not even proper runway. Stupid steel mat thing, whatever that is. All right, so let's imagine this airport was never destroyed by the Japanese and just take off right here. Full power. Now on board the A321. Will this work? Well, let's find out. And by the way, we are quite a bit of a distance away from mainland US, 5,000 kilometers. Same goes for Asia. This is truly one of the most remote islands you can really find. I mean, Hawaii is quite close, but that's, you know, that's it's just another island, right? Anyway, let's maybe try to take off. Please, Jesus Christ, we just took the whole runway here on this Easter Island. But this kind of worked though, so that's very much appreciated, right? Maybe it is now time to do landing, but to spice this up, let's land on this short runway. How about that? All right, easy, come on. Here we go, landing on the steel mat. Let's go ahead and stop now. Come on, you can do it, plane, please. I mean, we've got some... Why are the planes parked at the end of the runway? That makes no sense at all. Thank you very much. Right, we're going to be cra... Okay, that's going to not go well. Right. I mean, that just sometimes happens, you know. I hope I just didn't cause a war between France and, and the US. I'm sorry. Anyway, landing on the most remote island. I would kind of even doubt that the A321 would even make it here from mainland US. That's the thing. I mean, all right, it's got a range of 5,900 kilometers, which... Um, you know, that could actually work, right? That's the crazy part. Right, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 
I, mean, I think we've already kind of reached the limit. Anyway, let me, let me try the 787 right here. This plane can fly around the world. Maybe KLM would be stupid enough to fly here. I don't know. Now we're getting the subject of that. The real airport, you know, that you can find in real life right here. You cannot really fly there. You know, there's, of course, no airline flying here. In fact, tourists are not really welcome here at all since 2012. There's been no way to visit this right here, which will uh, probably make the Google reviews quite hilarious. I mean, it's got... 4.7 stars, right? If you're reading this, please send pizza bagels. Got Anna L. She hated that place. <laughs> Why are people reviewing this? Da 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 da. What? I was so jet lagged once I got here, and they only served decaf on this island. Not a fan of the swimming pool. Okay, this is this is not that funny, honestly. Right. So let me try to serve this place from the Netherlands. Lands. How about that? Now this is gonna go very well. Very stable approach. I mean, this plane can seriously make it across the oceans. Don't worry about that one. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's not been. That's been way too hard. I'm sorry, Mr. 787. It's now time to land and stop. I mean, you know, this is crazy though. I mean, look how far we are from mainland US. You know, this really just gives me a lot of respect for the soldiers that fought in the war back then, right? Traveling here to the super remote island and being stuck here. Just fighting for your country. I mean, that has to be appreciated. I'll be honest. Something I shouldn't be appreciated was the landing I just did. I'm sorry. Also, why is the United States flag not waving? That very much annoys me. Anyway, things are looking good. We've even got some power lines here. Some proper infrastructure on the eastern island, which is kind of not there anymore these days. Great to see. All right, but now it is time to continue our examination of the travelability of this World War II airport. Let me try to land the 747 here. We're not going to work very well. But I'll try my best here. Go around 180 knots. Things are looking good. Island is coming up. We've just done like a six hour, seven hour flight to finally come here to the super remote island. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's not been the smoothest of landings. Now go and stop. Come on, you can do it, plane. Full power, come on. Yeah. All right, come on, you can actually, come on. Yes, this is kind of working. Here we go, Qantas. You could fly here if you uh, if you found any passengers to actually fill your plane, but this is good. Yeah, it's totally accessible island here, World War II. Now, even though I kind of doubt that, you know, these little airliner tires would hold up very well to the steel thing. But this worked very well. So yeah, guys, that was uh, Remote 001 for now. The next airport we're going to talk about will probably be in space or something. Yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.